Hello everyone, welcome to Bieber Academy. Happy New Year to all. I'm so excited to meet you all with another interesting security tutorial. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a famous offensive security, which is Beef, which is a browser exploitation framework, uh, which is a famous tool. If you already know Metasploit on Kali Linux, it is something similar, but focus on web browser. This ethical hacking video will provide a valuable insight and guidance uh, you through the best practices to enhance your knowledge. Watch this video till the end for the bonus tip. Disclaimer, this video is purely for education and information purpose. I don't encourage any malicious or harmful activity. I'm not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information added in this video. How to use this tool? Beef is a tool, won't come with a Kali actually. We have to go and install this Kali. So you can go to the Kali uh, uh, tools page. So its same steps are very simple. All you just need to do is you have to go and run this command sudo apt install beef hyphen xss. So this command will help you to install the beef on the Kali. Once it's installed it, you have to go and launch the command b5xsl. So let's go to the terminal and let's show you. So sudo apt install hyphen xsl. Uh, so the package is installing now. I have already installed this package. So probably you will see that this is a new, yeah, that's why you are seeing this message. All your installations will be going on it. So now what I have to do is now I have to launch the b so sudo beef hyphen xss. So when you're launching for the first time, it will uh, prompt you, ask you for the password to be set at because that password is helping you to uh, launch in the use in a web browser. So, okay. so once it is you're done with the password, uh, it will take you to the beef uh, admin console. So that is the password. What you're set at the password, you have to use the same here. The username is beef. And the password is what you the password you have set it for the first time. So let's go and try to see how this beef is actually work. So to do that, first of all, we have to create a uh, malicious uh, web page. We have to create a malicious website. Okay. So in this web page, it can be you can clone any other website or you can create your own website or something else if you are very good at it, or you can use any chat GPT or you can do it a malicious website. Okay, so once you have created a malicious website, so you have to go back uh, to the to beef terminal and you have to hook up this script. So here, wherever the IP says, you can have to put your Kali mission IP address. So you have to mark the, you have to change. And then you have to copy this completely script and you have to paste it in the web page where you have created. First one is we have, create, have to create a web page and you have to eject the script on this one so once the script is ready you have to uh, send this to the target uh, using maybe you can use a social engineering technique you can deliver the link basically this is a link only okay? so yes what you heard is right so we you can perform this hack by using a simple link you don't need to deliver any exe file or you don't need to deliver any apk or any pdf or you don't need to do anything just a link is more sufficient so you have to uh, create a web page that's why we are creating a web page you can you have to send it to the target using a social engineering uh, message you can send it as a text message you can send it as an email or you can just any other social engineering you can once the target is uh, open the link in the browser in the browser any kind of browser uh, chrome or firefox edge safari any browser basically the brief is supported uh, all kind of browser all kind of operating system it can be my you can use this technique in the mac uh, you can use a windows linux uh, mobile devices ios android anything you can use it so once the victim is opened this link it will hook up with the beef the console the tool okay so this is how you can the tool is actually working on so for this demonstration, I'm just not going to create a website. Uh, I'm just going to use the same web page which comes with a beef uh, demonstration. So let's go and try it over there. So I'm in a beef uh, portal. So as I said, uh, I'm just going to not going to create any other. So I'm just going to the demo page here. You can see the demo page. So let me right click and uh, copy the link. And I have to do a little modification. So 
So instead of local address, uh, I have to change it to the my Kali machine IP address. So the actual the page looks like this only. So now what I need to do is let me go to the machine Kali IP address. So this is my Kali machine IP address. Local. Let me copy and let me go to the browser. Just let me modify it. And let me copy the entire link and just going to paste it in the Windows machine. Let me paste this URL. Um, click enter. So this is basically what the page you have seen. So let me go to the Kali, go to the beef. So if you see that I just opened on the Linux machine, the Kali machine. So that's why you see that it is a Linux showing. And if you see that this is a one IP address, which is just, just opened in edge. If you and let me make it very little closer. So if you see that it is an edge browser and those operators, so it is open. So just a simple click, I just gave a link and the victim has clicked that one. And now I have a, so this here in this page, you can see a lot of, so it's a basically, it's a collecting the uh, food fronting of the, so what is that enable, what is what not, uh, capability, anything, what is enabled, what is not. So this is a basically gives you an idea about the browser related uh, even it's a footprint collection so so now once i hook up over there let's go and so here all the magic starts over there. so as i said earlier uh but how the metasploit comes with the uh, two clips and everything right so same thing uh this beef uh, also comes with the same one uh, before let it let me keep it little bit uh, understand this is very very important to these signs are very important that there are green color orange gray and red colors are so if you see that the green color means the command actually the module will work there are because beef is comes with a lot of module uh, based on the operating system it will decide that whether this uh, command will work or not if it is works basically in the green color mean it is work and second thing is it will be work in an invisible way so user in without user interaction you do and the second one orange color you see that command will work against the target but problem there is it will use a visible to the user so someone is doing something kind of thing and that gray color is something like it will be uh sometimes it works sometimes it not work it depends it's very you have to give a try and see that is what it says the red color simply says that it will won't work now because each model it is designed for a different purpose different browser different operating system defined mobile device okay? so some or uh, some models will work some models will not work and depends upon the settings okay so now let's go and go to the command uh, so let's let's start with a few demos so current browser and go to the commands see that there are a lot of modules are there social engineering browser see that see uh, the color code this is what your color code you have to remove so the green color says made it work and if it is uh, gray color uh, orange red dress means it's not work and that is what idea behind so these are the things options are there so some models will work some so this is actually basically i'm trusting on the windows 10 environment so sometimes some things work sometimes not. so what i'll do is first of all let me start with the basics one so let me send an alert message uh, to the target and see if it is works or not so i'm just creating a uh, alert which basically alert will pop up on the browser so i act that's a small test so execute so you can see the browser actually pop up i have hacked your this is the one thing you can okay so without any user interaction there is nothing pop up nothing it's just there is no sign of hacked or something just it's just pop up right? so this is how you can utilize it so now what i'll do is so the next one what i'm going to there are social let's go and try a social social engineering there are a lot of options. so first one let me try to set a google phishing here every time you have to check the ip address on that part uh, so here i'll just copy it it execute this one so what this actually do is when you go to the windows session it will redirect to the google website uh, this is actually pretty old Google website, but uh, again, you can go and download the templates and more update this one. So you can see that the path demos.plane.html. So you can download the recent uh, Google page and you can modify it. But uh, since it's a demo, I'm just not updated this one, but you have the, uh, you can go and just do it. So for example, username is test. Uh, I'm just giving password test. 
when I sign it, it will be just uh, redirecting to the same one, demo place text. Uh, but you can see it's again redirect to the normal website. Uh, but again, it is still I have the connectivity. Let me go to the Kali and if that. I have, I have received the password. So username is test password. Is, so, but still I have the connectivity. So let's, let's go and see, let me try to give a fake notification bar. So when I click this one again, I can, I can create a malware, uh, basically reversal or something else gets over there. Uh, when user is actually clicks over there, let's go and download a dropper.ex. So let me try to go and execute. Um, let me go to the, so you see that there is actually security pop-up is over there. So when actually victim clicks this one, uh, something will get, even if you have a reversal or something, you can redirect to some other website and there you want to drop your malware or something. during your penetration test, you can do it. Go back to that. And now let's see the other options. Even you can create a fake last password, things over there, you can do it. Uh, one more option. So there are a lot of options are there. Play around, you can. A lot of things are there. Uh, one more thing is what we can do. With, so this is the uh, things over there. But uh, now what we'll do is let's let's try to use a social engineering attack um, and let's try to create a fake uh, flash update. So again, we'll be popping up in the like a flash update required, and it will download the PNG and execute it. Uh, let's Windows. If you see that it is popping up a uh, those update if i install it will direct to the malicious website and payload will be like so you can so when i click install this is will go and uh, download the file so so you can please just downloaded the payload uh, maybe uh, this is something example one so it's downloading you can modify and you can flash uh, modules also you can install and get downloaded so now let's go to the other module so now we will see how to so there are a lot of modules out there. You can see the Metasploits there, network related is there, uh, browser related is there. So now let me see uh, one more option. I just want to redirect the sites uh, kind of thing. So redirect the browser. I want to redirect something else. So now um, what I'll do is let me, this is actually beef project is one. Now I'll what I'll do is modify to google.com or whatever. Let me execute. See that the browser actually the pages redirect to the Google dot. Okay. But one the problem is when you do a redirect, uh, you will lose the connectivity over there. So the connectivity will goes over there. Uh, so to sustain it again, you have to do a reverse shell persistence. You have to do it over there. Beef is a powerful tool for security professional and hacker aiming to access exploiting the browser vulnerability. It is the ability to exploit, access uh, vulnerabilities, control, compromise browsers in real time, and integrate and do you can do your penetration. So here's the bonus tips comes first. Access the beef. For example, this one I am trying on the local one. If I want to try this tool online or internet over there, so consider using a port forwarding, ng-rock or any reverse proxies. Uh, another option is setting up a free virtual machine on platforms like AWS, Azure, or Linode, and you can install this beef on the server. So this way also you can utilize the beef over the internet for your ethical hacking penetration test. I hope this tip provides uh, helpful for your testing purpose. So now it is your turn. So you have to go and play around with this tool. There are a lot of modules are there. I would request you go with a play around your key modules over there because e, there are a lot of uh, modules are there if i start making video it's going to be a long video but i'm not going to do it so you go, go and test it play around it in case if you have any questions or doubt feel free to reach out to me comment sessions so i'm happy to help you thank you all for joining me today in this exercising session i hope you found the content information if you enjoyed this video and if you are interested in viewing more content like this please let me know in the comment your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel. Ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming videos. This video with others who might find it interesting. If you have any questions or need clarification about any so in this video, don't hesitate to me, reach out to me at Discord or comment below. Lastly, a big thank you to all my subscribers. Your encouragement keeps me motivated to create more valuable content. Stay safe, stay curious. See you soon with another interest. Bye for now. Take care.